All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. Today, I'm going to discuss how to differentiate a boy from a man. Stay tuned. So first of all, let me just say the age just does not matter in either scenario. You can be a boy at the age of 50, 60, 70. You can be a man at the age of 18, 21, 25. All right. So age just does not matter on either side of the spectrum. I'm going to start with the list for the boy and then I'll go to the grown man. All right. The first way to differentiate a boy from a man is the boy does not want to grow up at all doesn't want to take care of his responsibilities at all. Doesn't matter what they are, whether it's the children, whether it's him taking care of himself, whether it's him actually growing up and moving outside of his parents' home. He just don't want to take responsibility for anything. He don't want to grow up, period. The second way to know that you are actually dating a boy is that he don't care nothing about you. You know, y'all say that y'all a couple, y'all say that y'all in a relationship, but he puts every body before you. He puts everything before you. He really is showing you how much he cares about you. And just keep in mind, I've said this before, when a person cares about you and really wants you in their life, you are a priority to them. So if you find yourself always at the bottom, something comes up and you're always, you know, he always decides to go and do that thing over y'all two hanging together, you're probably dealing with the boy, my sis. The next way or the next thing that boys do is that they openly talk bad or in a demeaning manner about the woman that they're currently dating or just women in general in a bad way. He might even bring up sex in front of his friends while you're there. Just being very demeaning, very degrading, making you feel like crap, making you feel like ish. Might be a little boy. Again, age don't matter. Or he might be the ones who basically kiss and tell. Age don't matter. They still do that. He don't care nothing about you. He's openly talking about you in front of your face in a negative light. He's not making you shine. He's not making you feel good. He's making you feel horrible. He might be a boy. You'll know that you're dealing with a boy if he decides to always put his boys before you, before family life. Again, boys call, y'all have plans, you out the door with the boys. You know, you're on the back burner. Again, you're not a priority. Again, he's showing you where, where you fit in his life. You're dealing with the boy. You can also be dealing with the boy if he's always on the arcades. Uh, okay, I said arcades. If he's always on that uh, <laughs> video games, day in and day out. You go to work, you working hard. When you left, he was playing that video game. When you come back, he has not showered. He has not moved. He might have gotten something to eat. But he's still on that video game. When you come in through the house, he's still on that video game. You go take a shower. He's still on that video game. You might be dealing with a boy who don't want to take care of his responsibilities at all. You're taking care of the entire household and he is your child now. Might be dealing with a boy. Might be dealing with a boy. You might be dealing with a boy if he is easily intimidated by your money. Or just women with money and power in general. Might be dealing with a boy. He don't like that. He's openly said how much he despises it. And how women should be at the household. They should only raise the children. You know. You kind of looking at him or maybe sweeping that stuff under the rug. But you might be dealing with a boy. He's really intimidated by you and your power. But he hasn't said it like that. So then he starts to say this, say this other stuff that's mainly a red flag to you, but you're still dating him. Don't let the red flags fly by. You'll hate yourself in the end, or that shoulda, woulda, coulda will always be there. I knew I shouldn't have. I knew I shouldn't have took this relationship to the next level. Why did I marry him? Why did I stay with him so long? Might be dealing with a boy. 
The next way to know that you might be dealing with the boy is if you hear him or he feels superior to women. Women has their place. And it's not right next to him. Might be behind him. Might be 20 steps behind him. But it's nowhere near y'all equal. Might be dealing with a boy. The last way that you can tell that you are dealing with a boy, and this, this one is not for everybody, but a lot of women have experienced the, uh, this, and men. Um, but specifically to this video, a lot of women have experienced this, and that is abuse. So you might be dealing with the boy if he feels that he has to abuse you physically, emotionally, spiritually, and even abusing the finances as well. Might be dealing with the boy. Just some things to just some things to think about, just some things to consider when you're taking on these guys in your life. Watch for these things. You don't want to deal with a boy. You want to go over to the opposite end of the spectrum and deal with the man. So let's get into that list. So now the man is completely different from the boy. And this is how you know that you're dealing with the man. The very first thing is that he, on the opposite end of the little boy spectrum, is that he takes care of all of his responsibilities no matter what. He, no matter what. He finds a way to take care of all of his responsibilities, all of the people that are dependent on him, and he, and he finds a way to do it all without complaining. Because that makes him feel like the man. That makes him feel like he is providing for, for his family. No matter what, he's taking care of that responsibility. You're dealing with the man. And he's not even complaining about it. Even if he has so much stress on him, he's not complaining about it. He's getting the job done. He's figuring out a way to get it done. Because he knows that's his role. He's standing in his role. He's doing what he needs to do. The next way to tell that you are actually dealing with the man is if he does not let you suffer or struggle. I'm not saying it's going to be easy all the time. Or he might, even, he might not even help you out every single time monetarily. But if he can figure out a way to help you, again, men are problem solvers. So if he figure out a way to help you, whether he knows somebody that can help you fix X, Y, and Z that broke down for a low, low price, or he can just, an, just a, um, or he can just afford to help you out monetarily. He's gonna find a way for you not to struggle, not to suffer. That's a man. That's a man. You also know that you are dealing with a man when he cares about your well-being as well as your kids' well-being. It's not just about you and him. It's about the family life. So if you guys are just dating, he cares about you as well as your children. He cares about everybody's well-being, including himself. The next way to understand and see that you are dealing with a man is that he will offer to help out. So like, say for instance, you're telling him, that your light bill is due. For some reason you can't pay it, it's way over, you know, the kids were there, whatever happened, the bill is just astronomical. You don't have the funds for it. He will just offer to help you without you having to ask. Now, that doesn't mean that he's gonna do necessarily do this every single time, but again, he doesn't wanna see you suffer or struggle. He also knows that you guys need to see. Might need the electricity for the stove. You know, so he's going to offer and help. The next way to see that you are dealing with a man is that he loves to be around his family. He loves it, craves it. He's actually cool with not being single. <laughs> he loves being around his family, and, he, and you can tell that he loves being around his family because he, he will bring them up, he will talk about them all the time, and then you can absolutely see it in his pictures, in his videos. You can see when he's with his family how happy he actually is. He loves being with his family. His boys, they come secondary now, maybe even tertiary, but his family is his priority. Another thing is that again on the opposite end of the spectrum from the boys that he sees his lady or his wife as his partner as his equal she is standing right next to him not behind him any any steps at all 
She's right there. She's his equal. They working together to make this thing work out. It's an easy choice for him. Easy choice. The next thing is that he just does not mind helping out with domestic duties. He does not see that as a woman's job. He just helps out. It might not be as much as the woman is doing, but he still helps out. It's not that big of a deal. Kids are messing up. Okay, I can help clean up. Kitchen dirty. I'm not calling, hey, you know the kitchen dirty. He's just cleaning the kitchen. You know the bathroom dirty. He's just cleaning the bathroom. It's not that big of a deal. Laundry piling up. Doing the laundry too. He's helping the kids with the homework. He is right in there, side by side, equal. Equal. Because he know that the relationship, especially with the children, because the children are watching, they need just as much attention and time with dad as they do mom. And he loves it. He thrives off of it. Loves, loves, loves it. Just as much as the kids love it. Just as much as the mom loves it. And she can even take a small little break during their, their bonding time. Dealing with a man. Dealing with a man. Final way I'll say to know that you are dealing with a man is that, okay, so sometimes men get together and they're making all of these jokes about uh, <laughs> the woman kind of controlling him or him having to check in or, you know, things of that nature. And he's like, no, I don't have to check in. It's not about checking in. It's about being respectful. I'm not coming home at the time I told her, so she needs to know. She might be worried about me. She might think that I'm in an accident for somewhere, in a ditch somewhere, in a hospital somewhere. It's all about respect. So he just nips all of that in the bud. There is no, I'm feeling like, oh, I got to crawl into a corner. I can't let my boy see that I'm calling to talk to my wife or texting my wife or my girlfriend about X, Y, and Z. It's not that serious to him because, again, he loves family life. He loves being in a relationship. He loves taking care of his responsibilities. He loves being respectful. He loves showing the love to his woman because that is what is making him happy as well. Because he is showcasing the man that he actually is. Think about it. Take all of these things into consideration. Because as my shirt says, knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is better. So if you are dealing with a boy, might be time for some changes. If you are dealing with a man, go and tell him how grateful you are. Show them a little bit of gratitude. Show them a little bit of love. And absolutely, of course, always show them the respect that is needed. Because respect to men is what is love to women. I'll say it again. Respect to men is what is love to women. Take that in. Go ahead and give me thumbs up if you like this video. Of course, hit the subscribe button if this is your very first time here. Because here at I Love Me, 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 I'm supplying you all with the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can decrease that divorce rate. I will see you in the future video. Deuces.